Interesting facts about Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, officially also the Republic of Uzbekistan, is a landlocked country in Central Asia. It has an area of 447,400 square kilometer. Tashkent is its capital and largest city. Uzbek and Russian are the official languages of Uzbekistan. Uzbek Som, UZS, is its official currency. Its five land-bordering countries are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Afghanistan and Turkmenistan. Let's get started. 1. Once part of the ancient Persian Empire, what is now known as Uzbekistan was conquered in the 4th century BC by Alexander the Great. 2. During the 8th century invading Arab forces dominated the area and converted the nomadic Turkic tribes living there to Islam. 3. In the 13th century, Genghis Khan and the Mongols seized the region from the Seljuk Turks. 4. Next, the territory became part of the empire of Tamerlane the Great and his successors. This lasted into the 16th century. 5. In the early 16th century the Uzbeks invaded and merged with the other inhabitants of the territory that today is Uzbekistan, breaking it into the separate principalities of the Khanates, city-states, Kiva, Kokand and Bukhara. 6. The city-states resisted fiercely but were conquered by the Russian expansion into the area in the mid-19th century. 7. After World War I the population gave stiff resistance to the Red Army but they were eventually suppressed. A socialist Uzbek Republic was set up in 1924. The country became the independent Uzbekistan Soviet Socialist Republic in 1925. 8. Following the breakup of the Soviet Union, Uzbekistan gained its independence in 1991 and became a constitutional republic. 9. President Islam Karimov ran the country from 1991 until his death in 2016. He was widely held to be responsible for severe breaches of basic human rights, tortures and executions. 10. In 2016 Uzbekistan held its first election since 1991. 11. Uzbekistan is Central Asia's most populous country and the majority live in rural areas. 12. The economic trend is for urban residents to earn twice as much as their rural counterparts. 13. Though the Uzbekistan economy grew 8% in 2015, it is still one of the least developed and poorest countries in Asia. 14. The majority of the country's citizens are ethnic Uzbeks who speak Uzbek, the official language. Russian is the second most widely spoken language. Sunni Muslims make up 88% of the population though they are secular and not religious Muslims. 15. The country is the world's second largest cotton exporter and fifth largest producer. Other exports include gold, oil, and natural gas as well as uranium. The nation is resource-rich but the money has typically gone to the president and his governmental ruling class. 16. Having been in historic crossroads for centuries as part of various ancient empires, Uzbekistan's food is very eclectic. It has its roots in Iranian, Arab, Indian, Russian and Chinese cuisine. 17. Palov or plov is the national dish. Made of mutton, rice, onions and grated carrots, legend holds it was invented by the cooks of Alexander the Great. Different areas of the country put their own spin on the dish, adding ingredients like pumpkins, peppers or dried tomatoes. 18. Chuchvara is similar to ravioli, Russian pelmeni, and stuffed with onions and mutton. Manti is a dumpling filled with the same. Somsa, samosa, is a pastry pocket filled with mutton or beef, pumpkin or potatoes. 19. Soups include lagman, thick with meat, spices, potatoes, pasta and vegetables, usually with 50 ingredients, mastava, which is rice soup with carrots, tomatoes, onions, peas and even wild plums, and sherpa, a soup made with fatty meat, usually mutton, and fresh vegetables. 20. A Uzbek master chef is held to be able to cook enough palov plov in one cauldron to serve a thousand men. 21. Lepioshka, bread, is never laid upside down, it brings bad luck, nor placed on the ground, even if it's safely in a bag. 22. Traditional Uzbek bread, known as obi non, or simply, non, is flat and round and always torn by hand, never sliced with a knife. It is also never thrown out. 23. Following an ancient tradition, a family member must take a bite from a small piece of Uzbek bread before departing on a journey. The rest of that bread is kept hidden or buried until the traveler comes home. 24. Handshakes are only acceptable as a greeting between two men. An Uzbek woman is greeted by bowing to her with your right hand placed over your heart. 25. In Uzbek tradition, the most respected guest is seated the farthest from the entrance to the house. 
26. Respect for the elderly is paramount. An Uzbek never insults nor yells at his parents. 27. The Uzbek people are well known for the culture's music. Kashuk are household songs while Lapa are dialogue ones, a give and take between two singers. Many of these are wedding songs. National and professional poems are used as texts for the songs. 28. The Uzbek traditional dances are distinguished by a soft smoothness and expressiveness of movement, either in place or in a circle. 29. Applied arts include painted pottery influenced by the many cultures that have lived in the country and luscious, colorful, ornamental embroidery. A fine embroidery with threads made of gold is still practiced in the province of Bukhara. 30. Soccer and tennis are the country's most popular sports. Cycling, boxing, wrestling, and gymnastics are also highly regarded. Uzbekistan athletes have done well in the Olympics in these sports. Karash is their native martial art form. 31. The Yugam Chakkal National Park is the natural habitat of 44 mammal species, 230 bird species and 1168 species of plants, including bears, wolves, red marmots, lynx, snow leopards and wild rams. Travel permits are required for parts of the park near the borders with other countries. 32. The Jairan Ecological Center is rescuing and restoring this endangered species. The Kitab State Geological Reserve and Kaizilkum Tugai and Sand Reserve explore the natural geography. Watch for wild boar, deer, wild ducks, sandpipers, and reed cats. 33. The Nurato Kaizilkum Biospheric Reserve will soon be included in the UNESCO Global List of such reserves. 34. Uzbekistan features three health and recreation complexes for relaxation, Chimgan, Charvak and Beldese. Visas are required for all tourists apart from passport holders of CIS countries, the Commonwealth of Independent States. 35. Other activities tourists can enjoy in the country include camel trekking, hiking, birdwatching, rafting, and skiing. 36. Uzbekistan is a doubly landlocked country, that is, a landlocked country surrounded by landlocked countries. Additionally, none of its rivers ever lead to the sea. 37. The Tashkent region, including the capital city of Tashkent, is the economic and political center of the nation. Here you will find the international airport, bus service, and Tashkent's beautiful metro system. 38. Metro Tashkent's three stations feature marble ceilings and pillars, engraved metal, and beautiful chandeliers. Not only does it have some of the most beautiful stations in the world, this metro is the biggest system in Central Asia. 39. The Aral Sea was once the Earth's fourth largest inland sea. After the Soviets depleted its water supply to irrigate the cotton fields in the 1960s and extensively used chemical pesticides and fertilizers, it has shrunk to half its former area and decreased by threefold in volume. 40. Now there is a shortage of water in Uzbekistan, with underground water and reservoirs serving the needs for plant irrigation. Certain rivers are now half dry. The drying of the Aral Sea has ravaged the surrounding land with disease and agricultural devastation. Hope you like this video. Please like and share this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.